I shouldn't have left you. Without that gangster music, you get ripped to real. It's bad. I'm bad. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Without that gangster music. How about now? Can you, I can hear myself. Yeah, we okay, good. You. Look at that. We fumbled on the first <laughs> on the first down. We back. Shooting the hip show. Montoya's. Reese in the house. What's the word, everybody? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, drunk man. Happy New Year, man. You heard that? Happy New Year, drunk man. Yeah, I heard I know it. you don't like it always. No, I don't, I don't mind it. Shout out to Horace, man, because that's, that's Hojo's turn. But yeah, man, so we back in this bad boy for the 2016 Feel like we just started this thing two weeks ago. But we back in this bad boy. We done it for like what? Like just October? Yeah. I think we got about what, five shows on our belt. Yeah. Five. This Together. Number, this might be number five, yeah. Yeah, something like that. I know you hit him with the remix every once in a while. Yeah, man. You know, because sometimes you, uh, you know, inaccessible or unaccessible. And I, and I see that. Now his phone going off and shit. But uh, anyway, man, so... You know, once again, Happy New Year. We uh, we took a little break for the holidays because everybody got stuff to do. And so, let me tell you about my holidays for a minute. Christmas, I went to Vegas. I worked Christmas Eve, but I went to Vegas for Christmas. How was that? And, and why Vegas? That was just a plan y'all wanted to do. Man, you know. Let my old lady tell it. Me and her mama, we was drinking and talking about going to Vegas and how I, need, I ain't been there in a while. But her auntie and them, her, her auntie and uncle, they were going. And her mama mentioned it. And I thought it was a good idea. So fast forward. Now we get tickets and shit. And I was supposed to work Thanksgiving, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve. And I had to call in on them, tell them I wasn't going to make it. How did that go? Man, well, I prepped it. I prepped it. I gave. I, I was like two weeks out, and I said, "Look, uh, well, as soon as we got the schedule, I was like, man, look, I'm trying to get somebody to work.' I went and told the sergeant, "I'm trying to get somebody to work for me. I don't know how that's gonna go right now, but this is what I got in front of me. So, you know, I put that out there. Then I thought I found somebody, and uh, last minute he backed out. So, <laughs> going to that sergeant's office." Like two days before it's time to go, and I was like, "Uh, yeah, old buddy backed out on me, so I don't have nobody <laughs> to work for me." And she's like, "I understand." I was like, "Look, and I can't miss this trip." And she said, "Well, you gotta do what you gotta do." And I said, "Yep." Then she said, "I gotta do what I gotta do." I said, "Yep." Is that who you made the reels for? No, uh, a matter of fact, she retired. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, good is right, but yeah, uh. No, this is a new one, man. Been been on. You probably got more time on than she do. Oh, right up in there. Oh, okay. But yeah, so <clears throat> I think I buttered up though, cause you know I, I call her Sarge, and she kind of like that. Okay. So how was the trip? What what did y'all stay? First of all, anytime we stayed at the Tropicana. Anybody, well, I never heard of that. Is that downtown Vegas or that? No, that's that's in the strip. Never I heard never heard of it either. Actually, how was it? It was cool. You recommend it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was straight. Um, you know, my choice of whiskey helped out a lot down there. What's that? Maker's Mark? Maker's Mark, man. And you kept a bottle in your back pocket? Uh, Yeah, no, nah, I didn't do that. I didn't oh, okay. do that. But yeah, it's like. I've seen you do it before. We went to, yeah, I've done that before. But uh, we went to a, a restaurant called Table 10. It's one of those Emerald restaurants. What's an Emerald? I don't know. Emerald's that cat from New Orleans, that chef. A famous chef. Oh, Emeril Lagasse. Yeah, him. Okay, okay. It's one of his restaurants. And uh, when we sat down at the bar, because I prefer to eat at the bar versus getting a table, uh, he's like, so what are you having today? And I saw some Colonel Taylor sitting up there. <laughs> you see, I see your face expression. Yeah, I said, oh, man, give me some of that Colonel Taylor. And he said, oh. <laughs> he went and grabbed a booklet full of bourbon whiskey for me to take a look at. 
Because he thought I was going to order some Hennessy. Oh, yeah. Or some Prime Raw. Shit something. in the rap video. Some of that old nigga shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 some of that Colonel Taylor. I saw the, the Oh My God expression on his face. He went and grabbed a book on me. And we had a great time after that. So what'd you eat there? Um, shit, like... We got, we got something I'm generic. Looking at your face, you like, man, that shit. Gonna no, hurt. the shit was good. Generic. Oh, okay. We had some generic, like she had a salad, and I had a kind of, kind of chicken sandwich or something. But it was, it was, of course, it was kind of high end. But the people next to us, oh, shit, the 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 wife, she was white, two white, a white couple. Mm-hmm. The dude was from Pittsburgh, and uh, the wife was from right outside of New Orleans. And man, once we got that part going, they was they was giving us pieces of their food, their dessert. White people do that kind of oh, thing. Oh man. man, they, they was they good for you, pour you, shot up some liquor, or buy you a drink. Man, they they saw me order my drink. Yeah, and then they turned in. So where y'all from? In Houston? Oh, well, I'm from right outside New Orleans. This, and that, this, and that. And oh yeah. And we had that old Southern conversation for a while. And, oh yeah. Yeah. So that was straight. That was yeah. That was probably the best time out of all. How of many it. days? When y'all left Christmas Eve? Yeah, uh, we left Christmas Eve. Oh man, traveling, traveling was a bitch. I bet so it was packed. Man, we missed the first plane. Ooh, that happened to us on the way back from Fort Lauderdale. We, we missed, missed the, plane. the first plane, and there wasn't a second plane. We had to buy a whole another set of tickets. Oh shit! Yeah. God. So man. what airline? The it was Spirit. Oh. <laughs> it's so plain. Hey. <laughs> So play. No, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so wait. Spirit, I heard Spirit costs ninety nine dollars a flight, but they charge you for every other thing. One and done, dog. Hey, man, that's pretty good. Missed, right missed the damn it's flight. Soul play, and I just Soul play was on TV last night. <laughs> yeah, well, there it is. Yeah, that we is a Soul that play. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, oh man, we ended up going to uh, you know, we had to, yeah, we had to go all the way to the hobby because we we was at. Bush. So you missed you missed the the, pl- the flight to get out there. Yeah, and then we had this, we sat in the airport. Bought Southwest another, had nothing. Southwest got yeah. On the that's what how we got there because we had to go down the. Oh, hobby so you? Oh yeah. yeah and then yeah. fly out of there. Yeah, I don't like Southwest because I don't I don't like that. Yeah, that that stand in line shit. Well, I don't like and I don't like not being able to pick have my own seat reserved. Yeah, so that's my point. It's cool, kind of if you kind of by yourself. But yeah. if you ain't in that first group, yeah, and you get on there, and the motherfuckers what they'll do, they'll like say you and your lady together. Now yeah. y'all know y'all together, right? But what y'all will do is y'all sit one in the aisle, one in the uh, window seat, and leave that middle seat open, and then look away when people walk by. <laughs> like, so that's shit. that's the airport I can't game. Stand that shit, man. So well, but the thing, the good thing about Southwest is you get two bags. Now with yeah. United, they're more expensive and they charge you for bags. So if I can stay away from United, I will. But I'm not fucking with no goddamn me, uh, uh Spirit. No, fuck yeah. that. I know how Yeah. The, we learned our lesson the hard yeah, way. Most time you travel, it's gonna be anywhere from three to five hundred dollars. Yeah. It's something not right if Spirit charging you one fifty. That's right. You yeah. right. You you said it. And we did it and found out the hard way. Because I think if you pay extra, you can fly the actual plane yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you should hit with a ba-dum. I know, right? Maybe I edit that in. I need to get a soundboard up in here, yeah, man. Yeah, do need to do that. But yeah, so flying there was a bitch. Uh, I was there sitting. We sit, okay. Matter of fact. Oh, let me ask you another question. Yeah. Did you Uber or did no, you we didn't. Cab we didn't even see. We walked. Oh really? Yeah. Got exercise in. Man. Got your steps in. That's a whole nother story. Got your steps in. Like a son of a bitch. That's what everybody on there getting their steps. Yeah, in. I well, I know you got your, you just got your Apple Watch. Well, so I, I know did, you pay but attention I've to that. had a Fitbit before that. You gotta you gotta stand up when it dings. No. You know well, yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, I know. Stand, I'm familiar. But I had a Fitbit before. Yeah, well, I That's think about getting one of those. But, Fitbit? Yeah. She probably had one. I just took out my wrist since I got this Apple Watch. Yeah. Well, yeah. what what if it's so much better? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I well, mean, holler at me in about six months when they when they run out of style. No, nah, no. Nah, and they nah. do the update. Well, they do update all they want, but it's still an Apple Watch. <laughs> there you go. I can resell my Apple Watch right now. There you go, man. Android oh, you, you back on that, man. I'm we to tell we you, just man. cranked the show up. You back on that Anything resale value Android shit. Android got, I can drop this Apple phone right now and use. It's about a week old. And get, no, about three days. I got a win. Two or three days old. And, uh, 
it'll sell more for it than Android got though. Right on. Reese, Reese the derailer. I'm, nah, I'm just, you know. The derailer. He he turned a whole airport conversation into an Apple conversation. I said, did you get your steps in? And you said, you Apple know what? Watch. That's right. I did. I did yeah. do that. I did that. That's correct. But anyway, man. So I sat by some Korean chicks on the way up there. On the airplane? Or Vietnam. I wish I knew the difference. On, on, on the, on on the southwest. southwest, on the way there. So you could sit next to your wife? No. Exactly. That's 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 exactly. why I brought that up because you said that. But yeah, man. So that you happened. sat in between them? No, nah, I sat on the edge. On the aisle well, seat. you know, at the end of the day, it was between them because they had a whole row locked oh, up. Oh, really? Uh, two rows locked up. Mm, Try it. <laughs> something like that. I didn't want to fuck with them, but uh, man, they were talking, and I don't know if you seen you seen um, what's the show you put me on? Surviving more? Yes. Yeah. The, the Asian dude. Yeah, that the, the, owner, the, the shoe owner. The, yeah. Or the shoe. Man, dude. I sat behind a couple cats that sounded just like that dude. Man, oh, yeah. I was laughing so damn hard <laughs> for no reason. Oh, he sounded, the, the, the way, the, the the inflection, the, the cadence. Yeah. All that was the same, dog. Yeah. And they was like 12 years old. Stereotyping. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> I, I heard him before I saw him. Yeah. I was like, is that that dude? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sat up, but traveling there and coming back was a bitch, man. And I hate flying. I ain't going to, man, if I can get away from doing it like that, I will. I'll spend that extra money next time, man. Oh, for United? Oh, for whatever. Just, you don't want to fly south. I don't, I don't want to fly the way we flew. I don't want to do that. I want to have my bags okay. I want to have a seat picked out. Oh, yeah. And I want to get there on time and whatnot. And if I so happen to miss the plane, yeah. I want to be on standby for the next oh, go round. Yeah, that's what happened. We was in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I guess me and my wife have a problem traveling, man. Yeah. We went to Puerto Rico about two or three hey. days ago. And we missed that flight. Nope. Well, we did miss it. And they then they told us my bag, my bags uh, 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 weighed too much on United. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck you want me to do? Take some shit out and throw it in the trash right now? Pretty much. Well, so that fucked us up. So we had to wait a next day to go to Puerto Rico. Oh, no shit. Yeah, so I missed a bachelor party for that wedding. Then uh, coming, leaving for leaving Miami Airport from Fort Lauderdale, uh, we missed a flight, which actually worked out because I had to go handle my business on the throne. Uh, yeah. So they gave me some time to play with. So, but flying United, they had another flight. Now, like I say United and Southwest, you you. Stri- I mean, they they doing it all day, yeah, back and forth. You know, the big some of the major cities. So, right, you definitely good on that. Oh, and then we get into this next conversation real quick. I forgot all about this. So I told you now when we when we missed that flight, that gave us time to kind of relax. So it was kind of a good thing, right? So we just wound up getting and, and the weather was bad, so. Anyway, it wound up working out for the best. And where were y'all at? When you, when in uh, you? Fort, in Miami, Miami. Okay. Uh, All right. We were in Miami. Yeah. But uh, so this dude had a hoverboard. A who? Hoverboard. You know what I'm a saying? Hover, a hoverboard? Whatever. Oh, country ass nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey so check it out. Okay. So I'm sitting there, right? Yeah. And uh, he pulls it out. Instead of walking to go get his coffee, he rides his hoverboard. No, hover. Okay. <laughs> hey, shit, he is old boy. Yeah, so he uh, <laughs> he rides it against Casper. Oh, shit, he crazy. He ain't gonna let him on the plane with that thing. Shit. Hold on. So he comes back with his coffee. Shit, he all, he ready. Got his Starbucks. Lady sitting at the damn check in thing. She picks up her radio. Okay. <laughs> Come on, run, run. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, this lady walks behind that sliding door. You ain't get on a plane with that thing. <laughs> there it is. So they talk for a minute. I can't hear what they saying. But Security they, code 2 one Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. 10 four, one, oh, 2 in progress. Yeah. Right. So wind up telling them, hey, you ain't get on a plane. So they went back and forth a little bit. Not in a bad way, but they was talking. Right. Oh, yeah. So he wound up taking it and sitting it by the trash can. What? Yeah. And he had to get on the plane, I guess. Well, yeah. So I heard him telling somebody like, uh. Well, I'll get my money back. I don't know how. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, he said, Good luck, he, he was bro. He was with it. Good luck, bro. Like, three, four, five hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you shit on the cheap end. They and are. I'm like, damn, I'm like, really? And so my thing was, if you would just not say shit, you would have made it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So uh, another thing in them hoverboards, because that's the hot <laughs> shit. 
Did you see on the news where the shit caught fire in the mall? Where they blowing up? Yeah. Yeah, caught yeah. fire in the mall. Had to evacuate the mall. Hey, man, they the new drone. Nah, well. I mean, they, they pretty much. It's almost like. It's the new hot shit at the moment. Anytime I, you see some shit in the kiosk at the mall, you know it's, it's going downhill after that. Yeah. They oversaturating. You don't want one? Yeah, well, I did when I saw uh, Brian Cushing on <laughs> one on, on uh, Hard Knocks. On Hard Knocks, okay. I saw that. I was like, oh, nah, that look cool. But then once it took off, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, no. Nah. You know, no. Nah. See, and I'm a gadget guy. Yeah. I just really don't need it. And so. And they got, like, like some got Bluetooth and music and shit. What? Yeah. The only thing I need it for, I know something light up when you ride and all that. Man. The only thing I need it for, I would really need it for, is to uh, go to the mailbox. <laughs> That's the only thing because my mailbox is down the street. We have reached a whole new level of laziness. I mean, but first world problem. I don't know. And that's that mailbox is so far. Let me get on my hoverboard. I mean, I can't even, you can't use them in the house. I mean, I guess you can, but that looks stupid, man. Man, I saw. What would you, okay, let me ask you, what do you need? One? What would you use? It? Um, I wouldn't. I, I, mean, I you don't have a reason. I have no practical application for that at all. You know what I'm saying? No. And even in my so, and then if I was riding into the mail, I did see a dude using a walkie dog. I saw a couple of kids how, how, flying they, down the street, music uh, blasting, little boosie. And I can imagine <laughs> <laughs> boosie badass coming from the hoverboard. So, hey, <laughs> no boosie had count. And, and yeah, I saw that. And they was on their phone. They wasn't even looking at the street. Two of them. Ho- Boat guard in the block. I Shout out to that boy. <laughs> yeah. does on the side on the cement on the pavement too. Yeah, I, I was thinking, and you know, I seen uh, you now I see people riding around the mall and you know that uh, industrial carpet that you see yeah. in like uh, businesses that hard cop that can take that kind of stuff. Yeah, but other than that, I just I really don't know what I would get it for. And I'm like I say, I'm about gadgets. Yeah, but, but that, I just. That damn man, that's that's, that's so dollars. useless. That's some, that's some useless money you're spending right there. If you, I, I guess. And I then mean, if that bitch blow up, ooh. oh, then what? You know, <laughs> Lord no, don't be sleep. Uh, yeah, and the bitch charging the motherfucker catch on fire. Yeah, you better have some some insurance. So yeah, it, it, man, you know what that the craze reminds me of? Yeah, when they had the motorcycles that they were selling on side of the streets. Yeah, they outlawed them in the city. Yeah, that kind of remind that. me of that because they not it's regulated. Similar. It's similar. They're not regulated at all. Just like them drones, they regulate them. Oh, really? Yeah, you got to, like, register your drone now. What? Or, or it's on the way, it's in the works. Oh, well, I guess. It early adopters, they got to spend, like, $5 and yeah. do that. I don't know, man, we got the NFL it's Network the on. Dude got, got, a, got, a, got a crop top. They got a drunk, they got a Donald Trump. Well, his look a little better than Donald. Hey, so, man, you been keeping up with this Cosby shit? I think, man, I... That's like talking to a family member that done some shit wrong, man. Yeah. You just don't like talking. Cause, man, nah, you don't understand how influential I personally thought Bill Cosby was to black culture. Right. Uh, like I say, back in the day when it first started, they, you know, white people was like, that's not realistic. Yeah. Black people don't have, not doctors and lawyers. Right. You know what I'm saying? And even anything, because I didn't grow up with my daddy in the house, that showed the quote unquote perfect family uh-huh. i was all about that right you know i was all about the uh him being educated uh him being able to uh you know raise five you know raise four daughters the right way with yeah. a son and you know doctor attorney and, yeah tell one of them does a nude pic and he got to get off the show yeah uh <laughs> i'm like god damn there's some and it's like some of the uh once he once he uh, got done, and some of the, the the things he said in the black community were about to, were true. Yeah, and they're just like, dang, boom, 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 all of this stuff. And I'm just like, I was a fan. I believe in everything he stood for. Yeah, and uh, to, to, to hear it at first, I'm like, man, whatever. Like, and it's still to this day is like, it's no way you can get away with doing some shit like that for so long. Yeah, and then you know, so. Another thing is, so it, it, it's fucking me up in that sense. But also, I guess the way he stayed there, it, he had roofies or something. Was that popular? Yeah, so, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I I still want to know, like, if you, I guess, if you with a roofie, is that the same as buying a girl a drink? 
I, I think that was kind of. Well, you buy a girl see, a drink. I think that was kind of. I'm going to say, had, look, about had, I'm not condoning none of his behavior, but it seemed like everybody did roofies back in the day, and it was kind of almost like a. It was a thing. A way of, it was a thing. It was kind of like. You want to snort some coke? Yeah. You want you want a line? You want yeah, you want a line? Do you want something to drink? Yeah, you want a trip? You know, so drop some acid. And, and it, it just far out. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of take slightly to that aspect of you want to hit this joint? Yeah. And you do it. You with a celebrity, you know, a female, and you want you want to hit this joint, you want to snort this coke, whatever. I, I think so part part of it is I think you kind of knew what you was getting into. You with a famous celebrity, uh-huh. he give you drugs, dope, whatever, alcohol, yeah, to get busy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody kind of did that. I, I don't think he was the only one that was doing that back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I, I truly believe is it was a lot more going on there. Uh, so uh, but at the end of the day, man, I mean, it. it well, let me, let me tell you my, my thoughts about okay, it, man. you tell me, because I'm flustered, flabbergasted, all that old yeah, shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, that's just like we found some shit out about Obama. You're like, man, damn. first and foremost, Cosby don't, don't affect shit in my world. Okay. So, I don't really give a fuck. I mean, now, I sit back and I look at social media and everybody, oh, he's a rapist. And then you got the other people, oh, they just, they targeting the black man. And I'm like, well, for real, nigga, I mean... When you get up in the morning and go to work, do Cosby have shit to do with that? I don't think so. I don't think so. So it, that's how that's how I come at it. I'm like, man, I don't know Cosby. I know of him. I ain't never met the man. The person shook his hand or nothing. We ain't related. So his whatever he got going on don't mean two shits to me. But I see how the timeline is working. I'm like, man, it's just so good. That shit ain't jiving to me. That see, that's that's the, the point. timeline the point don't jive to me at all. I mean, if he's a rapist, dog, I don't know nobody that gets away with it that long. Me neither. I don't know. I not don't. Like, I'm not familiar and, with that. And, and rape is is violent, strong on like. Yeah. I mean, all them chicks, man. First off, for it to get that high, it's rings bullshit to me. For the, for the number to get that high, like yeah, yeah. oh, so all of y'all waited Especially twenty in years in the industry, you know. All y'all talk. waited twenty years. Yeah. It really let, now let, let them have been gay. That shit would have been out quick, right? You know, what I'm saying? or so had shit, AIDS yeah, or something. Shit circulates, man. I'm like, come on, man. This is shit just don't. It rings false. And I, you know, I'm not a Cosby apologist. I just know the timeline sounds fucked up. Ain't no, I mean, you can you can pontificate and use nuance in your conversation about. How rape is emotionally stressing on women, and I understand that. Yeah, but that just lends to my my argument. Why the fuck would you suppress it for 20, 30 years? Uh, really? Uh, that actually, don't make you, sense you to me. You could have made money off of it too. And this recent shit, where um, uh, some some case from two thousand four was right within the, the uh, statute of yeah, limitations. Statute limitation. Right, right, right. My my first thought was, why now? Yeah. He I, and the, the second thing I thought of was, well, he just dropped his suit on somebody for defamation of character, right? And so it's like, oh, so he threw a salvo back, and yeah. now you, you had one in your pocket, and you yeah, pulled it yeah, out because they waited. Because but because before when he did the disposition, it was like all the statues had passed. Yeah. Now when he when he drops the defamation, then they come back with, oh, we got this one. Yeah. And, okay, so on this last one. That would drop within a statute of limitation. Who who's the girl? Do we know who the girl is? The yeah, accuser? yeah. She's. I, I've seen it? some. I don't know her name off the top, but I've seen some things where she's public about it. Okay, so so she ain't like high. It's not some anonymous chick. Okay, so uh, but she did take a settlement first. Yeah. Okay, so that that's another thing. If you settle it, yeah. what what why are you bringing it back up now? Yeah. If and, you settle, and if you if you that upset about it, don't fucking settle. If, and I want to know who I want to see how she looked. Yeah, I don't know. I just saw a thing. Where's a bunch of old bitches? Well, I bet they not in the current 80, one. Is he eighty? Yeah, he up there somewhere. Okay, well, I said bitches. It's just no, get over it if you're mad. Well, there's no reason. I mean, I'm sorry, man, but I, I, I'm just not buying the. If yeah. you alone with any man, yeah, 
and you he first of all he married he 80 years old yeah why are you alone with him mm-hmm. period well i mean he, he wasn't 80 when the stuff was going down oh it was 2004 right yeah i mean he was 70. But he, was, he, he was elderly at he that was point. 70. He can't do shit for you. You know, yeah. I can't fuck like I did. Why when are I was you there with this guy? Yeah. I'm 37. You yeah. know? Shit ain't the same. So what the fuck are you? You know you know that was coming. All I mean, I'm you know saying, the sex was coming. All I'm saying, dog, Brother, is he that. got it. Hey, but you knew that was coming. All I'm saying is I don't I'm not. I believe he's probably into some some freaky shit with us. I women. believe that too. I believe that. But for all this rape shit to come so out of nowhere, so I'm like, come I'm like, on, man. I want to know the price. So is he slipping Mickey? Like, like he just dropped Yeah, well, that's, that's the current narr- narrative. Uh, and it ain't hard for everybody to say the same shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. But I mean, how do you like, oh. how do you do it right now? Like, what are you, when you go to the restroom, not this one. Yeah, I drop, drop a little something in your drink. Man, come on. I don't, first of all, I don't leave my shit around nobody. Right. Well, in the public, if I don't know you like that, period. Yeah. I've never done that, ever. Yeah, but don't get me wrong. I'm not on some um some some kind of conspiracy theory where they just trying to take Cosby down because he tried to buy a TV station or some shit. Oh yeah. Well, I, be, I kind of. I mean, some, it might be something there, I, but I, I, I don't know. Don't go full blown conspiracy, but I do believe. But some, the, something, something. If 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 you just wholeheartedly just buying in that he did this without questioning a lot of that shit. Yeah. Something's wrong with you. Yeah. I think. It's like, come on, dog. Well, I, I and like I said, I think there's. A money gra- I, I just there's something there, dude. Uh, you just you just you don't, don't you don't hold it in your up. back pocket for that long, yeah. Without shit jumping off. All right, Natalie Cole died. I got first of all, uh oh, hater. Uh oh, <laughs> notification on my. We were driving. We did a lot of riding around yesterday for New Year's Day. Okay, got this shit on my damn iWatch, Apple Watch. Oh, oh. bam! That's why you called me a hater. Well, because it was I, on your phone I first. You gonna have something slick to say the minute it's you on, seen it? It's on your damn phone. No, I mean, I like I'm I'm a techie, man. I like that stuff. Hey, man, you need to get you. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not stuck first. on Apple though. Well, like I know, that. I know you ain't getting no Apple. Why would you get Apple Watch? You got Android phone. Right. So uh, that don't fit. Plus, some watch is kind of ugly. What this? That's kind of ugly, dog. Look at this shit plain. It's cool. The look. It's, it's cool, awesome. but it's, it's ugly. Amazing. I mean, with the technology we got going on, that could be way better than it is. Like what? Nigga, like, like just better looking. It's plain, dog. It looked like the first iPhone that ever came out. It looked just like that. Wow, it's the first Apple. Well, well, shit, by. man. The it's iPhone, the on, iPhone is phone a pretty. Better. The phone the is 6? a pretty. Oh, if you man, the nah. watch. Who would watch? Who that Galaxy look kind of good? I'm finna say, man, that's the hey, prettiest that phone Samsung, out. The what? No, 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 the Samsung watch. Man, I, I've seen one of those up close. Well, which one? You said this one don't look good. Which one looks good? Of, of the, the Moto Three Sport watches. Moto. What? Moto 360. Just plain Jane. No, that's Man, impressive. It, well, I mean, for what you that, want it for. That I mean, there look like a to, Casio calculator without ta- the calculator. You got to be tactful with what, how you make it, though. Tactful? Well, yeah, because. Is I mean, that what Apple does? Of what it tactful? does. No, 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 not Apple. Apple's not. I'm saying with any of the watches, you have to kind of, for what you're trying to get it to do. Yeah. I mean, you reading information and shit. And, as you look at it, it's pulling up my location. I like how we talked about Natalie Cole down. They went right back to the Apple No, watch. no, no. This dude said, here. This no. dude just did this. Well, anyway. Okay, so let's get back to <laughs> Natalie Cole. So Natalie Cole uh, died 65 years old. I guess. That's a, is that too young? That's, that's young. Okay, well. She you know why she, she had, died? She, I get, from the drug abuse, right? There you go. Yeah. Same as Whitney. Yeah. And the first thing. Well, I, she held it down for a little bit. First thing, yeah, yeah. She was, yeah, she didn't have Bobby helping her out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first thing she I had, saw was this thing where Natalie Cole was on stage. and She pointed at Whitney. And Whitney and it, I see the And it was like, I, I, I hope they see each other on the other side. I'm like, oh. So two dope heads? Yeah. Two dope heads? Y'all really putting them up? Hey, well, you know, po child. Man, come on, dog. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I you know I'm not an R.I.P. guy. You know this. I've yeah. said that, but curmudgeon. Well, maybe I think you that more than I am. Nah, no way. But okay, so the fuck what? That's another person I didn't know. Yeah, he fucked his own self up. Yeah, just like Pimp C. Yeah, if I won't be honest. Yeah, and I've. I'm a UGK dude, up straight up and down. Yeah, Pimp C fucked himself <laughs> off, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I'm a curmudgeon. <laughs> God damn. Now, I'm not going to say yeah. I, I shed no tear. 
Fuck all that, Rapper man. R.I.P. People dying but, hey, and she shit. Died. She did it to herself. Folks no. getting caught up with allegations and shit. That, it don't none of that shit affect your life when you wake up. Yeah. You just want to be in something to take yourself away from your own shit. Well, yeah, that's true. That's what it is. That's what Facebook It's for. a distraction. That's what Facebook for. Yeah, well, speaking of Facebook, I'm on it. And what's, what's Tracy Elise Ross? Elite, elite. Oh, nigga. Much you get on people out there pronounce. Tracy Ellis? Yeah, well, I said that wrong. Okay. But you knew what I was talking about. So I'm talking about That's a ass. bad son of a gun. Ooh, she boy. got her ass on. She toting her. Man, she look at this. Load. Look at this. Oh. I know it. Oh, I already know. Oh, man. I watch her slaying that wagon that, all around on black. Uh, that's some gun. Now, her mama's Diana Ross. Yeah. Which I, 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 I don't know where she got today. that from. Yeah, I don't know either. Because Diana Ross is slim, ain't she? I thought she was kind of being Polish. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Tracy Ellis Ross. Told that might be the white side coming out. I don't know what is it? She got a shitter on her. <laughs> a turd clipper. Yeah, I'm telling you, boy. <laughs> Hey, anyway, man, I'm perusing Facebook as we talking, you know, just because for content's purpose. Man, I saw a uh, MCA interview. I seen it on Vlad TV. Yeah. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Yeah, I seen it. And all I could think about was E-I-H-T. Now, should I G continue? Ain't you? Yeah. You left out the G because the G ain't in you. And all that talking he did, I'm like, oh, nigga, but you left the G out. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell what was you thinking, man? So, now, uh, do you... What'd you do New Year's Eve? I went to work, and then I came home. Nah, what'd you do after that, though? You didn't work I came. I came home. I poured me up some whiskey. Yeah. Got on the computer and started house hunting. Oh, okay. While I jammed some music. And the the clock struck 12, and that was it? That was it. No kiss the wife? No, nah, she was at a Frankie Beverly concert. Oh, Oh man, can I can I please talk about Frankie Beverly, man? Hold on. Well, okay. Well, I'm a, Oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, what did you do? What did you do? Okay, what I did was I worked. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, and, and that's I, all. I remember what I was doing when the clock struck twelve. But see, I've I've always been kind of funny about that because it's like it strikes twelve on the East Coast and we watch the ball drop. Right. And so then we gotta wait. We waiting on it. Yeah. So yeah, like, so yeah I, 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 I never thought about it that way. So it's kind of like it's like, you, what the fuck? Yeah. It's already happened. But before you go on your uh, rant, shit, as I get older, I forget shit. So when I hear something, I got to get it out. I get it out, man. Anyway. That's what you got a microphone I was, for. I'm done with Mary J. Blige yeah. and Frankie Beverly and Mays concert. I'm done. Oh, man. Rodeo. Preach. Essence Festivals. I'm done with the both of them. Preach. I want to no, see no more white linen. But we got me now. You want to wear a white linen no more. <laughs> White linen, though. No. Yeah, because that's what they wear. He wears white linen and he do the same shit. With his ball cap. Yeah. White I linen mean, and now, ball don't cap. Get me wrong, I like the songs and they good. I liked them when he sounded wanna, like them. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear that shit. But go ahead. That's all I want to do. Yeah, well, I was just leading into that because he don't sound like that no more. He you don't, don't sound hit good no more. He don't hit them notes, none of that. Yeah. No, nah, everything is monotone, damn near. It's like, come on, dog. They came here to hear you hear that note. Hey, well, they tore like a motherfucker. And they getting paid. Man, I'm like a big dog. And my old lady's stuck on that, man. I'm like, she stuck man. on them? Yeah, and Frankie Beverly. I'm like, man. I'm done with that. I went there got to be some other motherfuckers that you can go see. Dude. I told this story before. Uh, the first Frankie Beverly and May's concert I went to was with her before we was married. So she just seen her twice as y'all been together? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, three times. Because I went twice. Oh. Yeah. So... The first time I went, I had just broken up with this girl. Okay. And uh, she was the girl I broke up with was at the concert that day. Oh, really? And it was a New Year's Eve concert. Look at you. Oh, man. And I remember walking you by. You Frankie Beverly he know you ain't. Yeah, hey, I, I make Year's him Eve look on his job. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was bad, dog. So I was like, man, I already got a bad taste in my mouth, man. That's, that chick slapped me, like, later. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, that happened. But yeah, man, so then I, we went to New Orleans for some jazz fest, and there they were again. Frankie Beverly half ass hitting the note. And I feel like I'm talking bad about him. But he old, man. He just can't, he ain't got it no more. Just gonna bow out, dog. It's not that hard. Why bow out? If people, people still, still buy buying tickets. tickets. Yes, I fully understand. Okay, uh, what's this new Tarantino movie out right now? The Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight. Have you seen it? No, you seen it? No, but I've heard all kind of. Is it of, good? Is it bad stuff or good stuff? I've heard mixed 
I mean, good and bad. You know, it nobody was, was lukewarm about it. Violent. They were either they were either all about it or they hated it. it I'm was, not a big Tarantino dude. I just I'm don't. Want, first of all, he he does a lot of shit. Shaq, but that's that's the what nigga I was. Shit yes. fuck with me. There you go. Uh, Say it. Me personally, yeah. Uh, I, I don't get it. I don't care. He, I guess he say grew up around a lot of black folks. I mean, the the actors are doing his movies. Yeah. So I, I don't know. He got to connect with them. That's what I heard. I heard they try to out nigga Django. Really? In this movie? Yeah. Oh, I definitely ain't want to see that. That's what. That's all I heard. I did like, watch man, like the nigga quotient went up. Yeah, but uh, nah, I'm, I'm <laughs> nah. You I'm know, it's a taboo with. word, man. Don't nobody want to say it. Man, look here. If I, you I, ain't black, you don't nobody want to say it. It's just nothing he can do. It's so freeing, dog. If like, like cunt is a word in the white community that black folk don't don't care about, right? But if we knew. If that was a word that just set them on the edge, we just couldn't say it. Yeah, like the the time you can say it, you yeah. gonna say it. Yeah, cut, nigga, cut, cut, cut. Yeah. But see you next Tuesday. You ever heard that? No, that's what they. That's how they say it. See you next Tuesday. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I'm putting you on some white man, game. You did. <laughs> Hell, man. So I don't really care about it, but. It's so blatant that I, I can't. did like Jackie Brown. I see. Jackie Brown was good. Okay. I did not see uh, Kill Bill to this day. I have not watched Kill Bill. Man, I got all them. So I watched Jackie Brown. I watched. Uh, like it's a bunch of What's them. the other? Pulp Fiction. Yeah. And I watched yeah. uh, uh, The Last of Django. But I, I've always wanted to watch Reservoir Dogs. I heard it's real good. Man, for whatever you reason, I think I saw it, but I don't recall it. Yeah, so. Anyway, I'm just. I'm not big on them. You know, I seen them on Sway in the morning. You don't know the answer, Sway. Oh, yeah. You don't know the answers. I see them on Sway. I also heard his interview on a, on the Foxhole with Jamie Foxx. I mean, he sounds like he's a cool dude, but I'm just not, I haven't bought in yet. Uh, so that's Oh, it. man, look, I'm looking I'm looking at this uh, this meme right now. Uh-huh. You know how I got the little African boy looking like. Yeah. So if you say this. That means that. So they got Bill Cobby face on there. And it says, let me get this straight. I got arrested for some he say, she say. And Charlie Sheen is out here killing bitches? You ain't lying. <laughs> and nobody's talking about it. Hey, that's, that's what happened. He had shit. Had, well, kept fucking motherfuckers with the shit. And just got tired of paying them and said, you know what, fuck it. I got eight. Well, ain't nobody oh, mad at Charlie Sheen hey, right yeah. now. Hey, so. well, you know that's how that's how it works. I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. That's that's yeah, that's, that's very happened. strong. That's actually fucked, that's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. very you, strong. You, hey, you got any New Year's resolution? No, I don't do them. I didn't do them. I don't do I, them. I ain't gonna never do the shit I say any fucking way. Mm-mm. But mine are make money. Yeah, that's matter of fact. I got every day to make money. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Just be more. Uh, more smarter with my money. Uh, be more, be of, more smarter. Yeah, that's a hell of a way to see it. A left, a leave education right man. there, y'all. I ain't applying for no job. We talking about them podcasts. <laughs> Southwest Houston hey, education. In my golf game uh, this year, I ain't been playing or practicing much because it's cold shit, and I don't fuck around under fifty. I did go the other day because a friend of mine hit me up. I bet it's probably play. the best time to get out there. It no. is because it's not crowded. Exactly, it's like I don't easy. like. Mm-mm. No, it's not fun. You can't. Okay, I don't like smoking cig. I like smoking cigars when I play golf. Yeah, I can't enjoy a cigar when it's cold, especially Jeez. when you blow the smoke out. You can't, can't tell if it's the smoke. I or, sat out there last night. Put nah, that, put that log right in that fire pit, man. I, I garage, chilled man. out. Man. I got, just, I just re up on about twelve stogie. Yeah, yeah. You want to blow one for a go? Yeah, we can get on one. Oh shit, that was talking garage. about. Yeah, but uh, so uh. We think about them Panthers. Hey, man. 14-1. Dabbing on them. Dabbing on them. Dabbing on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take it, man. They better not lose this week. They're going to lose I'm not even a season. Panthers fan. But Me neither. I like seeing Sam scam do his thing. You're, you're a scam fan. Yeah. Scam news. I, yeah. Yeah. Scram. Yeah. I call him scram because he's scrambling. But yeah, man, I'm good with it. Yeah. Oh, another thing he I got going on. He's kicking their ass. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and do a four-day detox. Oh, so my I told my brother he thought why not do it for thirty? I'm like thirty. Thirty is that's a commitment. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lifestyle change. I'm trying to just you do so for thirty days, you might as well just keep doing it. Yeah. So my plan is to not any eat any meat. 
Oh, you one of them. No, no, cuz. Well, anyway, they say it's good for you. So, home tizzle. When I uh when I hit, what I'm gonna do is uh juice, eat vegetables and fruit and drink protein drinks. Okay. And li- you know any other liquids. And I stuff mean like that's that. it's not Salads, it's not a bad thing. Salads, shit like that. I'm gonna talk I don't trash. know when I'm gonna do it, but I'm oh. gonna... <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't set a date. I haven't set a date. I, I'm gonna do it. I just don't know when. No, 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 no. <laughs> What I'm saying is, I don't want to start on a Thursday and go through the weekend. I might start yeah. on a Monday and yeah. That, that I'm gonna wait till it's right. I'm gonna wait till the time is right. Nah, it's gonna be before. Before I'm gonna do it before. Fast the month forward, of it's Christmas is time again. I think I'm gonna do nah, it now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hey man, look, I I I got on this thing where I, for you know way back, I got on this thing where I only drank on the weekend. Yeah, I don't do that no more. <laughs> Man, y'all should have seen this dude face when I said that. Because I don't believe it. <laughs> man, I I promise I ain't that bad. But, man, everybody. everybody dude, I, come I'm, on. I'm man. a drinker, I guess. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, you a drinker. But, everybody hey. know. Yeah. What did my wife say? Hey, is that all? Yeah. And hey, you know what's funny? I'm finished and I want some more. Look at that. <laughs> man, my brother know you can drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. But well, speaking of that, man. Oh, uh, I'd like to re up. If you want to take a pause for the call, I hold it down. Just keep. You know, oh, you hold it yeah, down. Yeah. What's your freestyle it there? I'll be back, y'all. Hold up. Yeah. So anyway, why didn't they go get him some other drink? Take your glass. Yes, sir. Want to get a bigger glass? No. That shit is that for when you drink your last time. Oh, well, maybe I need to take this. Yeah. All right. All right. So yeah. Anyway, uh, why didn't they go get his uh his drink on? Cause he started shaking. You know, alcoholics start shaking. But yeah, happy new year to everybody. Uh, appreciate y'all for checking out. Still waiting on the voicemail. Uh, still waiting on the email. Uh, we need an iTunes review. Shit like that. But uh, we've been enjoying this shit. So, and we appreciate y'all, you know, that's been along for the ride. We're going to keep doing it. We try and do it every week. Uh, but yeah, uh, we might get some of our friends. Because as you know, you know, me and my toys fuck with each other. Besides the show, you know, which we ain't fucked around in a minute, but you know, we was friends before we started this shit. So, uh, you know, we gonna we gonna have some of my friends. We used to get down a lot, but as we get, you know, he remarried and I've been married, and I got a two year old, so we just don't get to fuck around like we used to. We used to get out a lot and have a lot of stories to tell. Uh, we'll probably get them back up here shortly. But uh, anyway, when he get back up here. We gonna be talking about uh Christmas Day, food, and my Apple Watch. So that's what's coming here shortly. As soon as you come up here from fucking up my liquor, as I sip my coffee in my overrated Yeti mug. I don't know if y'all are uh, familiar with these Yeti mugs, but uh they look good. They look good, but they really ain't worth it. The, sh- the money you spend. A thirty dollars for a coffee mug? That shit is overrated. Now I tell you what it does do. It keep your drink cold. Hey, man. But for as thirty dollars for a coffee mug, it just look trendy, man. Anyway, my toy is putting his headphones. It can buy me a boat. It can buy me a truck. So that, uh we uh Yeah they want ten ice down with some silver bullets. Never heard of that shit before. Oh man, get your country up. Oh my country's all right. Now. I'm finna put that in the show. Go ahead. But uh, what I was saying is, uh, so, okay, so going back, Christmas Day. Yeah. Did you get a gift from your wife? No. No? Uh-uh. Okay. Well, the trip was y'all Christmas? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Did you get anything? That phone that we talked about. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. So let me tell you how my Christmas Day went. Um, I bought my wife. Well, my wife, she's been having some uh, health issues, so to speak. Anyway. Okay. Uh, so, but before she was training for a marathon. Right. And she used to always, she used to wear her Bluetooth to listen to music. Okay. So I kind of listen to shit like that. And if, you know, fellas, y'all, you got to listen to shit throughout the year. <laughs> so anyway. What kind of shit you got to listen to, man? Hey, you know, you got them hints and shit. Oh, well, you just got to kind of. When, when your old lady drop a little something. Well, you she gotta, drop You got to key was, in. Well, you know. Anyway, so. I have my beats, you know. I, I run uh, and work out a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I got my beats. <laughs> so I got so us some. Yeah, I, right. I got us some uh, some beats. 
But anyway, I'd be happy when I buy my wife shit because I like to see her smile and shit. So, yeah. Anyway, I had gave to her on Christmas like Eve. Like a good husband. Yeah. And I, you know what else I want to start? I think I'm going to start opening my present on Christmas Eve. So Christmas, if we want to move around, we can just get to it. Yeah. So, but anyway, I bought her that and uh, got a gift card. And then what else? I got her something. Oh, I got her some like boots. These uh, fashionable wet, uh, wet weather boots. Yeah. Well, I got a one pair a week before Uggs? Christmas. They, uh, yeah. Uh, they, yeah, I'm they, familiar. Okay, they ugh, but they for well, wet weather, not cold weather. Well, they, you know, they could be for both. I finna say, for what they cost, it better be for all weather. Yeah, so I got a one pair, and I had got another pair. Of, I got a blue pair, and uh, I got a black. I got a blue pair before, a week before, and I got a black pair for Christmas. Okay. So she wanted to want to take the black pair back. So I only need one. I'm like, hold on. That's not what I wanted. I want you to have an option. See there, the see there, see there. You know there. what I'm saying? Well, you can't dictate how people receive your gift, man. Man, fuck all that shit. Oh, man, I be don't dictate over no, here. No, 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 no. Because I be thinking about shit, dog. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. I got a notification. You see that shit? Yeah, that's cool, man. For yeah, that old you got damn right, it's cool. Expensive calculator watch man, you got over there. Uh-uh. So anyway. <laughs> Man, I, I was playing a little boosty from this watch the other day. Yeah, you, you was that. listening to it from the from the from the. Yeah, so it has a no, speaker on. No, 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 no. no. It, I, I I started from my, to my phone. So you use your phone. I use my watch to start the music on my phone. Oh, yeah, all that kind of motherfucker. Okay, shit. Yeah. all that kind of motherfucker. Yeah, you got damn right. Anyway, and your phone was in reach. Yeah. Hey, look here. New level of laziness, y'all. Two thousand sixteen. Here technology, we go. Technology, man. Here we go. A tech, how a tech gonna call shit? That's technology. You right, because I'd have done the same shit. I'd have so, done that. Uh, Christmas Day, uh, had some family come over. My mama even drove while way out here and uh, had some gumbo. Oh, oh, but anyway, so here, here, this is what I got. So my wife got me a popcorn machine. Hey, do y'all know how you, how you switch subjects right in the middle of a word? Because, man, I'm Have like, y'all man, noticed that? Because I told you I'm old and I forget shit, so when it pops up, I got to let it out. He got diarrhea of the brain. Yeah. <laughs> I got a popcorn machine. I got a popcorn machine. Yeah. And I got a, a gift card to Best Buy, which can't go wrong with that. Oh, yeah. Best Buy all day, man. That's so, that's, that's my mall there. Yeah. yeah. That's my Toys R Us. So then I got uh, Apple TV. Well, yeah. I already have an Apple TV. I got you got Apple TV? TV? Yeah. It's in the bedroom. Got an Apple TV. And so I got the new Apple TV yes. for Christmas. Right on. It's $200. Uh, for the new one, 64 gig. I didn't know they had gigs too. I guess for wanna, what? When everything is streaming, you don't need gigs. No I more. guess if you want to say some shit or whatever. Maybe I guess just like you. I guess for instance, like I guess if you want to. I got movies I bought from uh, iTunes, but I want to just download them to the iTunes yeah. and then take it somewhere that don't have internet or whatever. Yeah. So anyway, so I was gonna keep it, and I was actually, and they got now you can get the game remotes. Oh yeah, yeah. You get a game remote. Yeah, I'm familiar. Yeah, okay, I so did hear that. I, I would have kept it, but we supposed to be moving. So this man cave we sitting in, gonna go away. Yeah. So that's funny, man. I'm like, damn, because I show's gonna sit that motherfucker right up here or next to that place. Yeah, it's set, and I would have been right. Some bitch, dog. I know. So anyway, uh, I said, well, I couldn't think of anything I, I really, really wanted. You know, I don't need a new iPad. Uh, don't need a new MacBook. So I just took that back and used that to something that my wife spent on Apple TV, combined it with that gift card that got me an Apple Watch. Yeah. And so uh, that's that's what uh, that's what I got. Oh shit! Look, I'm looking on Facebook, right? And they got a dating website for white people. Oh really? What's yeah. it called? It's called WhereWhitePeopleMeet.com. No shit. Yeah. And is it a true advertisement or is it like a spoof? I, I'm, I'm you know they guessing. got some satire sites that kind of like yeah. want you to click. Yeah, and I'm thinking that's what that is. This can't be The real. funniest one is uh, ChristianMingo.com. Oh, I did? I got kicked off of that. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you on ChristianMingo.com? When I, when I was single, dog, I was out there, you know. You got on Christian, you, you, you for real? I've got on Christian Trying to be Mingo. serious or you being funny? Being funny. I'll be for I didn't need no. I don't need no fucking. Women. Look here, I'm not they a pimp. They really looking for spiritual stuff. I ain't is, a pimp, but goddamn it, sometimes you just want to have a little fun on the internet. What nigga? I don't need no website. I, to I, you know get what? No I woman. thought about uh, getting on there to piss some people off just to fuck around. Yeah. But see, I don't want my no. I'm trying my to think wife. what my name was. It was it was my username that got me kicked off. I wouldn't want to be on there. And somebody oh. see it and not think it's a joke. It was Lou. Explain that to my wife. It was Lou's pussy. 
Did you get first name Lou? Last name? Yeah, I got I got them. And see what was happening. I was on a couple dating websites, and everybody was lying. They was lying. Yeah, I did Tinder for a little bit. That was pretty funny. ChristianMingo.com. Yeah, I, I logged in. My name was Lou Spussy. You know what you are? <laughs> you are an asshole. <laughs> Oh man, I was getting hits. That's funny. I was, I was like, Christian, "Look, I just can't believe." Man, first of all, I'm a good gentleman and I'm good in the sack, and that was my that was my yeah. my write up. Yeah, <laughs> Christian Mingo. What's the other one called? The one Ashley Madison. Yeah, no, nah, ain't <laughs> no, no parts of that. No parts hey, of that. They got some big trouble because I think, oh, I think Anonymous or somebody. Well, somebody some, put them passwords yeah, out. Put yeah, that's out there too. Yeah, no, I don't want no parts of that, man. I'm out that game. Yeah. <laughs> so did you now? Well, how was the weather in Vegas? Cold. Really? It was cold as hell out there. So did y'all? Were y'all prepared for the cold? Yeah. Okay. We were, and we walked that long ass. Did y'all walk. go see any shows? No. Man, I'm going back to Vegas uh, to see some shows. Yeah, because well, my wife, we the two I times got we Netflix went, we been with family, went with family, which yeah. They like to get when I don't. That was YouTube, and bro. Man, you not. see some shows all day. Yeah, but nah, because we seen uh, one time we went, we saw uh, David Copperfield. It was pretty good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so uh, no. Nah. Then the last time I went for a week in Vegas, I thought about, I was talking to some girls, and uh, they, I asked them what they did, and they said uh, they went to You see. talked to some girls, really? Yeah. That, that happened? We was in the pool. That, you know? don't, that don't happen. So, <laughs> talking to these ladies, and I said, uh, I, yeah. I said, I said, y'all seen the show? He said, well, we didn't see Michael Jackson's appearance last night. I said, how was They said it was pretty good. I said, let me ask you something. Do you think me and my buddy right here can go together and watch that? Would that look okay? Said, Ooh, nah. Oh, wow. So, pretty much, I can't go see no shows. If yeah. I could have walked in that bitch by myself, yeah. you want to go do some stuff. You don't want to look gay. Yeah, damn sure don't want to look like that. Oh, wow. Nah. What you got against looking gay? Nigga, fuck that. That's my name on the line. You know my shit. Man, you know, that takes me to a, a tangent. I watched this show called Do I Sound Gay? It was on Netflix. It's a one episode or a documentary? It's a documentary type of show. Okay. And my whole reasoning for watching it is because I've always had this question. Like, you don't know somebody's gay unless they say or show you something that lets, them, lets you know that they're gay. So you cannot know somebody's gay with you. Yeah, you can't. You cannot know. But Hell, I just found out some coworkers are gay, and I don't give a fuck because he, he ain't act like it. I do. Cause I want to know. No, no. And not because I'm a treat you. I'm not. Now here's the thing. I'm not gonna treat you any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I want to know so I don't make any off color jokes. Nothing real mean, but something funny to me. And I want to know because don't let me not know you gay and somebody else know you gay. Here I am. We just hung out together and, and went to lunch and shit. Motherfucker looked at me like, damn, I want to reach. Uh, nah, uh, uh-uh, that ain't happening. So man, I need to know. Man, look, I've always this, this has always been my stance on it. It's like because people try to equate it to like being black and no, suffering. Not even close. Yeah, exactly because you don't know somebody's gay just by looking at them unless they show you. But if you black, you know that off the jump. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Uh damn, here we go far back. Uh let me ask you this. Okay. So I do you do you do you have any gay friends that you in your circle? I got some co workers that I would call okay, my friends. Nobody after work you would hang out with. Well, I don't hang with nobody after work, really. Well, well here's my point. Yeah, but I know what you're getting you at. Imagine yeah. if your wife knew that you had a gay friend and you said, Hey, we finna go to the gym or yeah. we finna go smoke some cigars or, yeah. and you gone. And say you don't answer. Say you don't get signal somewhere. You yeah. don't answer your phone or some right. shit. Now nah, she's thinking just, all kind of shit. I don't know. Like I say, to me, I just don't think that will work out for me. Uh, first of all, and, and let me be clear, I, I would not make any jokes or, or around, around. I mean, I guess I would be mean to a gay person, but I'm just saying if you gay, it, it's really, we can't. Now, I can hang with you in a group setting with my wife. But we ain't going to the gym. Nah, together. we ain't going to the gym. We ain't hanging out. We ain't going to nobody's club. And All I- right. Look here, man. I came across a thing where Arsenio Hall had some gay protesters at his show back in the day. It was a problem that he was gay. Yeah, well, I think that came out too. But let me play a little bit of that. 
because that was powerful to me. I was like, wow, I didn't, I had never seen that. The blonde girl is so funny while they were singing. She said, she said, oh, my God. It was so funny, so funny. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you, man. Why don't you ever have any gay guests on your show? Why don't I have any gay guests on my show? Wait, I'm sorry. Why don't I have any gay guests on my show? Well, there are a lot of gay guests who really don't like to talk about their sexual preference, so we don't know whether they're gay or not. Now, this ain't Merv. You didn't think I'd run from this, did you? This ain't Johnny. I ain't gonna run from it. I'm gonna deal with it. Yeah. Now, who would you like me to have on my show that's gay that maybe I haven't had? Who? Gus Van Sant. I don't know Gus Van Sant, but I know Elton John. He's been here and he's rocked the house. Okay? Okay. What? When Harvey has something I'm interested in, I'll bring him on the show. But this is my show, okay? This is my show. This is my show. You understand? This is my show. This is my show, man. You think you think I haven't had somebody on the show because they're gay? What's wrong with you, man? I'm black. I'm black, man. I'm black, man. I'm the biggest minority you know about. I don't want to hear that gay trash, man. I got gay friends I've had on the show because you don't know them or it ain't who you want on the show. You got a problem with it. If you want to book it, get yourself a show. Now sit down. So I can do the show. You've had your friend. Oh, I've had right. well, pretty much. Well, now, was that somebody in the that. audience act? Yeah, it was. Okay. It was. Why, him, why is that a big deal? Well, that was back when that was going on. I, mean, I thought it was Was it his new now. when he brought it back or the older show? The old. The old. Back in the day. Anyway. If they brought that back up from the 90s? The gist of it. Yeah, for whatever reason. I guess because gay stuff is getting a lot of attention now. I'm sure he had somebody gay on that. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. Basically, he said, they, they were like, how come you don't have anybody gay on your show? He's like, well, I might have, but they don't like to talk about the sexuality, so how would you know? Yeah. And that's my base. That's that's all I that's all I mean by that. Why is that a thing, though? It's a thing, dog. That should be pissing me. That's what I'm it's saying. Thing. Like, gay lives matter, man. Well, what my thing is like, you know, <laughs> just like with the male we had. I think she Yeah, she was pushing an gay. agenda. She was pushing it big time, but like... Yeah. What the that fuck rest you got to do with this thing? If you ain't got a movie coming out, uh, so you just don't need to be on the motherfucking show. Hey, man, sometimes conspiracy theories have some truth in them, man. man there, <sighs> there's man. some powers that be that want why, that shit to happen. Why could you not like... Well, you don't have to It might like be the same people, people but, pushing this gay shit that don't like Cosby. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Hey, man, the gay shit. Gay shit powerful. taking off, Cosby man. going down. At the same damn time, I right, man, you might want to look into it. I don't know. I'm just seeing things for, for how it looked to me. That's all. Yeah, hey, you pull something up over there, man, or what? No. I was going to ask you, when the last time you bought an album, like a, a CD? Ooh, been a minute. Like an actual hard uh, copy? A, well, both. A hard copy or just like a, a new release. like. A... Oh, I buy them on Google Music all the time. Oh, you do? Yeah. You got a Google Music? Man, man, look here. They just got this thing where it's $14 a month, and you can put six of your family members on the same plan. All y'all do your own thing. Nobody's account is intermingling with the other one. And man, like Netflix. $14, yeah, $14 a month. Shit, I put me, my wife, my mama, her mama, all kind of, man, my daughter. So shit, man. Yeah, I buy shit all the time. I just bought... uh. Red Man. Oh, the new one? Yeah, that new I Red was, Man. I just bought that. It was oh, yeah. cool. It was cool. Man, I, I always been a fan of Red Man. Really? Because he talked regular. Yeah, he did. Right he now. kind of a regular and dude. You, did you see when he uh, he had a 
he, you know, when Cribs was, it was Crib. Yeah, I remember that. And he was like, well, the thing about it, he said they wanted him to get a fake crib, right? A fake stunt, I remember that. that. He like, nah, I ain't doing that. That just made me more of a fan. Yeah, it did big time. Yeah. Had his kin folks sleeping on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's Kept his like money in a shoebox. Hey, that's like some shit you'll be doing. Oh, yeah, I'd do that. Yeah. <laughs> kin folk, nigga, kin folk in here on the floor, dog. And it's like, hey, y'all come on in. Hey, hey, my kin folks sleep. You know, don't worry about it. Yeah, man, so I'm a fan. Don't get me wrong now. The album is kind of it's well, mediocre. Blah. You know, it don't stand out to me. Yeah. But she is. I like him, so yeah. I buy his shit. So, I, that's how I do with, with a lot of them. Like Outkast, I didn't really dig a lot of their music, but I bought it because I liked the way they were doing things. Yeah, that's true. I can see. But you know, I wasn't. That, I was never that big of an Outkast fan. I wasn't all. either. I know, but they. I just like they was kind of country are. and doing yeah, some eccentric shit, yeah. and I was like, okay, I will support that. Yeah, so that's all it was. What's What's in rotation? Your music? Oh man, a whole lot of Devin and Zero. And country music. <laughs> yeah. Devin yeah. and Zero. Devin and Zero and country music, dog. Lil' K Reno in there. Yeah. You know, shit other people don't listen to. My old lady try to be the DJ when we driving. And she try to find something I like. And I'm like, man, don't do not do that to yourself. I ain't going to like that shit. You know, she like J. Cole, Wale, and them, yeah, wife likes them, them boring them niggas. Yeah. Oh, really? They boring, dog. Whatever, man. They ain't got no pizzazz. Oh yeah, they they got some pizzazz, cause it's pizzazz niggas. Yeah, <laughs> but no, other than that, no. no I bought uh, Jada Kiss. I See, I like Jada, but this new album ain't that good to me. No, and the thing that made me even more mad about it not being that good is because he came out with the top five dead alive was the name of the album. Oh wow! And which I really believe he won the top. He he's he can up rap. there. He, can he rap. damn near up there. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to listen to it a few more times. See, the problem is I buy it, but, but I, I, I can pick five better than him though. I could. Well, when I buy any music, I don't ever listen to the whole thing straight. You through. buy it on iTunes. Well, but the thing when I'm when it's on my phone in the gym, I put it on shuffle. Yeah, so I don't ever listen to the whole. So thing. it don't ever you know you, so get, you catch to, a snippet and yeah. then go on. So home. I said I'm gonna start just. Putting it on one album and start listening, but some albums I did buy, I did buy Rick Ross. I like Rick Ross. I ain't I, fucking Rick Ross. Rick Ross be jamming. Oh. Hey, that nigga be jam. That nigga can rap. Swish. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't. But he, hey, Rick. I'm, Rick Woo. Ross. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick Ross be jamming. I bought this Jada Kiss. Don't get wrong, he be jamming. But I, I just, Jada Kiss. I can't I like, buy into him. Uh. In the night eleven, looking devilish. Yeah. No. What, what you think about the weekend? Well, what's the weekend? A fucking singer. I don't, I'm not familiar with the weekend. You see a dude with the crazy dreadlock haircut? I've seen him. I didn't know his name. Oh, man. He be jamming. That's his name, the weekend? The weekend. The nigga with the retarded hair? Yeah. Oh. Well, that just make me more or less than a fan. But Ludacris, uh, Rick Ross, the weekend. Troy Al, yeah. and uh, Scarface. The, mal- the okay. last few I bought the last album album I like. I bought that I like. Oh man, what's that song? That Dr. Drake Deeply Conky, Rooted. I did not like that. No, oh, you didn't like that. You like it? No, I never heard it. I got it because it was on iTunes first exclusively. Of course. Oh, you, you get that garbage over there. That's cool. Scarface came out on Google Play like a champ. Scarface got. I'm that. rooted. Hey, that's a tight album. He, rooted. He, that's a tight. That's a tight album. Yeah, that there. I mean, don't get me wrong. He ain't breaching new subject matter. But the way he put it out there, I don't like it. Well, I'd like to. He's from Houston, and he ain't making a sound country. That's true. Yeah. Because, boy, I'll tell you what. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like sound of country, even though you well, like nah, more nah. smarter early. Well, no, nah, I'm just saying. I, well, I just want more sub, a little bit more substance to the music. Like some of that. that, that so you don't be. Let fuck us a come. Let fuck us a come. Yeah. That's the new shit, huh? Yeah, that's that new shit. Uh, Everybody trying to sound dumb, southern and dumb now. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like Fetty Wap, he, was, he from like deep new East Jersey. Coast. He from new yeah, Jersey. but I've never. I if I heard him, I wouldn't know it. And that shit is whack as fuck to me. I don't yeah. even like the subject of the song Trap Queen. I think that's the most cool. Trap Queen is a song. You never heard that song? No, man, you heard Trap Queen? Uh uh-uh. uh. She like the hottest song got. Uh uh. We good. I am pissed off. I should say pissed off. What I don't like is Riff Raps getting some play. He playing music? He from Houston. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. But 
He's one of them Iggy Azalea ass. You know, he is a coon for real. Blit, I, the true he, definition. He, I mean, he, I went out like corny ass jewelry. And, yep. Uh, I'm not. But I, he had a I song. I wouldn't even know if it. I wouldn't even know if he dropped some shit. Man, I I was listening to the damn sports talk and they was playing it. Really? Seven ninety. Yeah, I was like, man. That song was jamming though. The beat was. Oh, look at you. It was old school. It was like an old school beat. He did and they was beat. like they was flipping wordplay, and I was like, oh. So he, they didn't sound dumb, is what I'm getting at. You could the words were you can hear them and you can know what they were saying. Sound like you think you saying he can rap. Hundred thousand, hundred thousand, hundred thousand. It wasn't none of that, you know. But no, nah, I don't think he can rap. I think the dude was just what, what I heard. He wasn't even spitting the stuff I heard. It was somebody else on his track. Oh really? I wish I could find it, man. I'm gonna look for it. Hopefully, I can find it and put it on the show when I edit it. But well, yeah, yeah, other than that, you can, I ain't really worried about him. No, nah. R- Riff Raff, Riff Raff, yeah, yeah. R- no, nah. you know what? The name when is I funny. I seen that dude Stitches get knocked out by the game manager. You ever see? Did you? See I that? did see that. That's who he Stitches remind me of. Just some old corny motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. but you know what? It's funny though. He he run that dude Stitches run around here using the word nigga a lot, and I'm surprised people let him get away with that. Yeah, man, because man, it's 2016, dog. So you said, yeah, man, cats. Right. Cats ain't that mad about saying somebody saying nigga. I done heard all kind of mess can say nigga like I, they I come have from. Heard they like that a lot. And so once they start saying it's like if anybody else get into it, it's like, well, shit, uh, we let this cat get away with it. But it's never been a th- and words, man. Only thing lead me to some action is if you slap me, like physically. You, yeah, physically. Physically, you physically steal from me or you physically hit me. That's when I'ma jump to some action. Yeah. You just talking shit. That's, come on, dog. Hey. I got talked about a lot because I'd had like ride L shoes and yeah. non non design jeans. You got on uh on Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cause I got them ride L's on Christmas. My old man thought he was doing something. <laughs> All he thought he just did the works. Yeah, man, I got I got laughed at a lot. So you're gonna have to come molding with some words. Yeah. If you're gonna hurt my feelings, man. But if you touch me, it's go time. That's it. Yeah. So nigga, nigga, nigga all day. I don't care. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Is it low hanging fruit, man? Try something better. Yeah. They touch you. Did they you touch- ever draw that line on the ground and say cross this line? Nah. You ain't never do that. Nah. <laughs> no. What you got coming up this week? This week? Yeah. Nut. Um Shit, I'm off the day. The old lady's out of town. So, so you gonna bend a corner? Bend a corner. What you got planned? We gonna get on this stogie. Yeah, we gonna do that. My boy Drew wanna catch up with me, and uh, we hung out last night. And um, on New Year's Day, New Year's night, actually. Yeah, we went What'd to fifty fifteen. Okay, it, it was it was a me- too cold to be there though. No, if you outside it is. Well, ain't much room inside. Oh, it was plenty because wasn't a lot of people in there. Oh, okay. And it was very comfortable. Really? And you might have enjoyed yourself. I didn't know what I you didn't had going. I want to go out, man. This was a uh, well. Catch and you got nah, something. You know today? what? Nah, not really. It, well, the wife. I don't know. I, I really don't have nothing planned. All right. But I was just telling them the way you went to go uh, gas up. That I said, man, we used to have a lot of stories to tell. We ain't, since we ain't been really fucking around outside the show. Hey, yeah, like we used to. <laughs> See, like we used to do a little bit more fucking around, huh? Well, I don't know, man. I mean, well, I know you got. Well, I did say you know you got married. So yeah, I got married. And a lot of shit slowed up, we man. Used be, we used to we used to kick it. Not that we was out here like running through well, women and no stupid shit like that. We but, still kick it. Well, man. we still kick it, but I'm saying we used to have some more. I mean, there's ebbs and flows to this thing. Yeah, you no, know, no, no, it is. it's going to be a no, lot of time that no, he had. I ain't saying it in a bad way. I'm just saying. Yeah. I was saying that, you know, what I said was, as a coming it's plus months, it's winter, though. Yeah, well, that too. And I don't like fucking around. I People don't. I'm not a fan of this coach. Summertime, I was calling in more. It was yeah. nice to be yeah. out. And so, yeah, I might show so up. I was just telling we had been more, more stories to tell and shit like, you know, but. like, Oh, I got stories for days. Well, that's what I'm saying. But we ain't got none because. You know, whatever, because of time. I got a story for you. I probably shouldn't tell. I'm going to tell it. Go ahead. I went to Vegas. And uh, this chick I was in the Navy with oh, is out there. Really? Yeah, I hit her up. Hey, come hang out with us at the bar. How the fuck? That, Me you... and my cousin. Okay. Me and my cousin's at the bar. And I told her, come on over here. We over here. Okay. Well, now, she's blowing up the Facebook. Uh-oh. And probably listening to this show. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, man. 
Now it's, uh, it's all right. We done. That that happened. It's, it's okay. Yeah. I just want to say what's up. Yeah. It ain't got to be all this this Facebook shit, man. Yeah. So there you go. I said it. Probably shouldn't have, but it's done. But anyway, man, we're going to close it out and get on close this doggy. Real Because uh, it's about to go man, down. You know what, though? Man, I was just thinking, I was like, boy, when you I said, boy, I should want my brisket today. See? I thought but the I, same but, thing. But that's kind of, ooh. I thought the same thing. Dude, that would be perfect before I go on my detox. <laughs> big old, big <laughs> slab of beef. Nigga, you ain't going on no detox. Oh, it's going to happen. And I'm going to stop. You know that, but I'm going on a detox. It, it's going to happen. Go on and stop that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a it's four day detox and it's gonna happen. Look at us. So, we didn't talk for hours and some minutes now. That's because you drank it. Yeah. Any I, other time. Well, we're gonna go ahead and close this No, thing that's because I be happy. <laughs> I gotta go to work, man. Half the hey, time. Man. Anyway, man, happy new year to y'all, man. I hope y'all had yeah. a good time. Do this 2016 on purpose, not by accident. Yeah, come up with some uh some New Year's, what do you call them thing? New Year's resolutions, resolutions that you ain't gonna No, break. no, don't do that. No, don't come up that. with them, but we all know you ain't gonna better come Hey, get out there, life. live life on purpose, and don't be no victim. And, and you know, if you just like taking joy in somebody falling off, just do that. Don't yeah. become no activist about this. Shit. Yeah, create a meme about it and throw that out. Yeah, and just laugh. Look, if if I can tell y'all to do anything this year, laugh more. Laugh more. I was having issues with a lot of podcasts. I kind of backed off and listened to a lot because everybody mad. Everybody mad. It's like, man, get off of that. And everybody said they got a voice that counts. Man, I don't give a fuck. Man, you. laugh. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Span because he said that. And I was like, God damn, you right, dog. Yeah. Niggas ain't laughing no more. Yeah. Man, look, man, life is short. You better enjoy that, motherfucker. Yeah. And shit that don't got shit to do with you, man. Let oh, that shit go. shit. This what I want to say. Uh-oh. I want to have a brisket cookout. Okay. Because, okay. Now here's the deal. Ooh, brisket talk on no, shoot on. from the hip show. I love this. I like this. my shit. Hey, you, I just you, think you your shit good. has a taste to it that I can't get. Now I think it's the wood, though. Honestly. Yeah, but uh, we don't look at we ain't mentioned this because <laughs> you know because I got that well, good wood. Hey, you understand? <laughs> but my shit, I think it's good. And I, I had people ask, hey, you, man, you yeah, yeah. your shit straight. Yeah, but, I don't know. I don't know, man. So anyway. We're going to get the BYT involved. We ain't brought his name. The up. BYT. We're going to get the BYT involved in this thing. The big young thug. And if you got, I don't know, I don't know who Damn I, West I know West. you got some people that might listen to the show locally. Yeah. If they fuck around, I want to have a brisket cookout. And I want to throw the motherfuckers down. And I just want how many people to walk through, taste it, and let us know which one you think is best. All right, then. Well, brisket well, cook off. That's gonna happen, but that's what it's I gonna want. happen right about the time you do that, that. I think my shit better than yours. You think? What, I just think. It'll what's be the three day thing you gonna do? Detox. Okay, Maybe we, after the we gonna do it. We just schedule after. the detox. No, no, no. We gonna do it after the detox. All right. Yeah, but uh, how so? I wanna you wanna do, do it? I don't know when we gonna that do it. That just means it ain't gonna happen. And not though. because I think nobody's shit is better than that. I just think it'll be some fun shit to do. Yes. You know what I'm saying? All right. So in closing, laugh more. Cook some brisket. And we're going to have a brisket cookout. And there you go. So y'all take it easy, man. Peace out. <laughs>